Hey, beautiful souls, I'm Brooke. How you doing? I am an intuitive Reiki master, also a channel for the divine. Happy Capricorn full moon. So let's see specifically what's going on with a collective group of twin flames. We're going to dive into the divine feminine, the divine masculine. It's frozen on 22. And um, we're going to see what energy they're embodying. We're going to see what's going on within the relationship. And uh, yeah, yeah. So let's see. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. How you feeling? It's been a good full moon so far. Crazy synchronicities. The main focus has been on the heart, focus on the love worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. This was a big one too. Divine timing. Are you trusting divine timing? Or are you trying to control the time? Past life relationship also showing up. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Hmm. Just confirms the way I start my day. Uh -huh. Definitely see a honeymoon in the future. There's someone from the past that you need to let go of. Okay, because there's new love trying to come in. Someone that you're going to marry. Okay, let the past go. Let it go. Let it flow. 144. Let the past go. Counting. You and me. Can't hear it. I don't know why I can't keep my eye, my eyes off of you. Oh, is somebody looking? Somebody's watching you. Okay. 222, let's see what energy Divine Feminine is embodying. What energy is Divine Feminine embodying at this moment? What energy is Divine Feminine embodying at this moment? Y'all, yesterday I got ready. I put my eyes on, put my lips on. Didn't put anything else on. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I just didn't put any blush on. You know, like my highlighter. I like to use my highlighter just a little bit, but... Is divine masculine embodying the world. Two major arcana, three, two, three, the world. Okay, what's going on within the relationship? What's going on within the relationship between this divine masculine and divine feminine? What's going on within this relationship with this divine ten of wands? Hmm, I like this ten of wands. Okay, definitely feels like <laughs> I knew I was picking up on high priestess. I was like, the high priestess is gonna come out. There's no talky talky. Let's see, how's Divine Feminine seeing the relationship? How's... Really? 414? Not seeing the blessings. No, looking in the wrong direction. Maybe that's why the tower's there. Maybe you need to turn around. Maybe there's somebody... Maybe you're just not seeing it clearly. Okay, let's see, how's Divine Masculine? How's divine masculine seen in the relationship? How's divine masculine 444 seeing the relationship? Fools rushing. Okay, what I love is. <laughs> 
Divine Masculine is looking right at the Divine Feminine, both of them. Okay, Divine Masculine, are you lurking in the background? Maybe that's what this Divine Feminine is not seeing. Okay. Um, messages for Divine Feminine's higher self. Messages from Divine Feminine's higher self. What does Divine Feminine's higher self want her to know? Your king. Hmm. Be bold. Take action. Move in the direction that you want to go in. Find your passion. Find your courage. Find your hot romance. That's what you're not seeing. You're not seeing the king. Okay, messages for divine masculine inside yourself. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. Ah! Knew it. Hmm. Are you mirroring that? Because I get the tower two times. Out of four major arcana, two of them is the tower. Double tower, double, double tower. Okay. All right. What's going on underneath the surface with Divine Feminine? <laughs> this is happening now. What's going on underneath the surface that can't be seen with the Divine Feminine? What is going on underneath the surface that can't be seen with the Divine Feminine? There it is, in the head. In the head. Cycles have completed though. It's time to let it go. 707, let it go. Okay, I am gonna clarify the towers in a moment so I can get some more, a little bit more specific because it's definitely being mirrored. Okay, um, what's going on underneath the surface for divine masculine energy? What can't be seen by divine masculine energy? What's going on underneath the surface that can't be seen? Okay. What's going on that can't be seen? Imagine. Divine masculine has one, two, three, four major arcanas. Hmm. Merlin's been showing up a lot. Okay, before I move on, let's clarify the tower. Give me three cards for the tower, please. Three cards for the tower, please. Let's see what's going on with this tower with this divine feminine. <laughs> let's see what's going on with this tower. What's going on with this tower with this divine feminine energy? Divine Feminine's not even looking at the tower. Okay. Okay. Things are definitely being balanced and you're going towards the direction that you're meant to be going in. Okay. So, not all storms come to disrupt our lives. Some come to clear our path. So, whatever is going, whatever is flowing, allow it to flow. And it really does look like Divine Feminine is embracing that, allowing it. Um, really shouldn't be focused on what's leaving, more so on the blessings. Because there's two cups, double the blessings. Double the blessings behind you, 9-11. Are you going to see double the blessings or are you going to stay wrapped up in your mind? Okay. Not tapped into your passions, not tapped into your desires, not tapped into what it is that you're truly wanting. Wanting that passion, wanting, you know, that balance, wanting that enlightenment, okay? So we got to allow for those things to come into place, okay? Clarify the tower for me for Divine Masculine. I need three cards. I've got this feeling I may know you as a lover and a friend. 
and deliver. This voice keeps whispering in my ear that I may never see you again. 1011, give me one more card. And I got five of wands, five of cups, okay? Uh, there's definitely internal conflict going on with the divine masculine. Almost feels like torn between a fire sign and a water sign, okay? Because these are internal battles, and divine feminine is embodying it. I mean, and that's what happens. Okay, that's what happens. That's what happens. All right, let's see. Uh, give me three cards for the relationship. Three cards for the relationship. There's an apology that needs to come in. Divine Feminine feels a little cold. more please. Moon. Two pentacles. And this energy is about the same. Okay. And I've got the moon card showing up right in between of them. So, um, you know, the eight of pentacles is, you know, about really putting in the work. Is divine masculine willing to put in the work? Is divine feminine willing to receive? Okay, because because Cancer, the moon, okay, receives information, transmutes the uh, shadow. Is divine feminine able to do that, or are you going to be focused on the negative aspects? There's a lot of major arcana showing up, especially on the divine masculine side. Divine masculine and divine feminine. Tower showed up for both of you. One, two, three, four. It is happening right now. Moon card right now. Okay. Really need to put down what's not working. Open up. Make the choice to move in the direction that's going to be more solid. That's going to be better. Let... Whatever it is you're holding on to that you're fighting go when it comes to the love that's trying to come in. Okay, so I get Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini. Got all the fire signs. Okay. All right, guys, I love y'all so much. Uh, I hope these messages find you well. And if this resonated with you, my website's below 1331. Reach out. Let's uh, dive in deeper to see what's going on. And um, happy Capricorn full moon. I can't talk right now. I don't know what's going on. Happy Capricorn full moon. Love you guys.